So, uh, the reason I'm playing this is, ow, my ears, that was very loud on my end. The reason I'm playing this is because, uh, Simon Belmont is in Smash Bros now, and I realized that I never really played a Castlevania game. Uh, I've, well, I mean, that's a lie. I, I played them a little bit, but I've never beaten one. I've never really sat down and played it. So, uh, yeah. So this is the wall, the wall of shame. And uh, right there in the wall of shame, it's Super Castlevania 4. And before anybody asks, I'm going to get back to Crystal Monsters soon. I just thought that I'd play this to, you know, shake things up. Re really shake you up. You fucking ready? I'm fucking ready. But first, we got to wait on this cutscene because... Uh, we need to get background for the game that we are about to play. So there's a gravestone. And it's in, it's in there. And that is the very first jump scare ever in all of video games, everybody. I'm just kidding. I, that's probably not at all. But isn't that scary? I bet you weren't expecting that thunder to, to hit the, the, the rock. Every 100 years, the forces of good mysteriously start to weaken. Thus, the power of Dracula starts to revive itself. His power grows stronger and stronger every 100 years. Dracula has revived many times. However, his sinister actions have been consistently thwarted by the Belmont family. A very very slow scrolling text it's been 100 years since the last confrontation between dracula and the belmont family but now the serenity of transylvania is being threatened by destructive forces it's up to simon and his friends to take down dracula well i'm here to fuck you on the dark and eerie night, Dracula rose from his grave to unleash the destructive power over the countryside. <laughs> yeah! Once again, Simon Belmont is called upon to destroy Dracula. With only his whip and courage, he sets out to restore peace to Transylvania. This text is so fucking slow, holy shit. Please, please go. Please move. So yeah, I, I was gonna play the original Castlevania, but this is a retelling of uh, the first Castlevania and people claim it to be better than the NES original and plus my NES emulator is kind of defunct at the moment oh sorry did I say emulator I meant my NES machine that I have in front of me is defunct at the moment so we're gonna be playing this one instead enter your name my name is Venus? Here I come. Here comes Venus. Venus Belmont. So, you know, right off the bat, ah, we can jump. We got our trusty whip at our side. Everything is great. Nothing is, nothing is bad. Pretty slow moving game, now that I think about it. So again, I haven't really sat down and played any of these games, so this is going to be kind of like my first foyer. And who knows, maybe I'll complete it, maybe I will. Holy shit. I'm just going in. Is that good? I, I can't even tell. 
How do I use my item? Oh, there we go. Okay, it's my shoulder button. It's gonna take me a little while to get used to the controls. Fuck! I want to go... Down. There we go. Oh, shoot! Sweet! I can whip it around! Nice. Nice, nice, nice. I really like that a lot. Sweet money bags. Hmm. How do I enter? Oh, oh. You see, they couldn't do this type of shit with the NES. No, nah, dude. This this is sweet SNES capabilities. Really demonstrating the power of the system. And that sweet, sweet Belmont strut. Okay. No, get out of here. Get out of here. Oh, sh shit. Fuck you. I'm gonna be kind of shit at this, guys. I'm, I'm gonna try my best. We're going to kill Dracula with our sweet moves. Ah, shit, those were painful. Uh, oh shit, I gotta avoid this, this shit. Uh. Aha, death to you. Sweet axes. Oh, I could've just jumped up here. So, uh, let's have a debate. Who here thinks that Simon Belmont is, uh, is gay? Vote, vote in the comments. Do you think he likes that sweet, sweet man dick? Fuck. I say man dick, but there's really... I mean, well, I mean... I was gonna say that only, only guys can have dicks, but you know, nowadays, anything is possible with the power of science. Yay, science! Ah, shit. How do I walk up stairs? There we go. <laughs> stairs are like the bane of my existence in this game. So, the story of this game is that Simon Belmont's all like, Hey, fuck you, Dracula. What, what the hell are you doing existing? Stop existing, Dracula. And Dracula's all like, No, I'm gonna keep existing. Are you kidding me? What is this? <laughs> Perfect. What are you? Get out of here. Get out of here. Oh shit. Well, I'm dead already. Oh, hey, Paleo. I see you in chat. Oh, you started playing Symphony of the Night. Yeah, I, I saw that on Twitter. I've literally never really fully sat down and played one of these games, so I'm just like fucking around throwing my my random shit my axes Showing it off my Belmont strut I do plan on playing Symphony of the Night at some point because I've heard that that game is like fucking crack Eh shit wait I got it Boom. Oh, please. Thank you. So when do I start getting the wall chicken? I've heard a lot about the wall chicken. How tasty, how zesty it is. Fuck you, bats. Oh, fuck. I gotta start taking my time. I'm like rushing through too much. Is the wall chicken down there? Only one way to find out. Take this, foul being! Fuck. Okay, so I can like whip those. Okay, is this the wall chicken? What is this? Nothing. Or is it something? No. No, it is not. <laughs> I just wasted my time. Well, 
just jump right back on here. Yeah, it's like Super Metroid, but twice as big. Fuck. Well, I mean, they call them Metroidvanias for, for a reason. Because they're, they're the whole starting of that kind of formula, I guess. The whole explorative level formula, you know, like backtracking, forward tracking, many, many a tracking has been had. Okay, so I think I know how to, how to work this thing. Okay, there was a thing here, and now it's not here. I'm, I'm skeptic of this. Yeet! Oh, holy shit, I almost just fell to my death. Please die. Thank you. So chat, how is your how is your day? How is your life? What what are you up to? Castlevanias are all about taking your time, no rushing. Good to know. That's like the opposite of what I usually do. I'm usually like all speed run all the time. Get over your fucker. Jesus, his whip has really good range. Like, holy shit. <laughs> Fuck. Here we go. Oh, get out of here, Skelliman. Don't like you. I sat down only to watch YouTube and haven't finished My Hero Season 3. Dude, get on that. My Hero should take priority is what I say, but I also have not finished My Hero Season 3. So I should really get on that. Please, please don't fall. Aha! I was ready for you this time, you slimy boy. I really love doing this. There's just something about this that is just so raw fun for me. Just wiggling, waggling around my, my fucking whip. That's the power of the SNES. <laughs> Dude, fuck yeah. Somebody chat got Taco Bell today. I hope that your bowels are okay. It's the fucking horse heads. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't like this. I don't like these horse heads. Giving me bad vibes. So are there lives in this game? Or is it just like... Shop till you drop? What's ironic is that even though you should take your time, there's still a time limit to the levels and I died because... Oh my god, there is! Oh, there is! On the top right! Fucking horse head, get out of here! I didn't realize that there was a time limit. Shit. I'm too busy reading chat. Urgh. Fuck, jump. Jump, Simon. Simon, please. Work with me. Oh, fucking Medusa heads. Get out of here. I don't appreciate this. What do the hearts do? Fuck. Oh. Please. Please. I'm doing pretty good for my first time. I'm just saying. <laughs> Dracula's kind of a dick. I'm just saying. What What the f- Does this thing fucking respawn? It does, doesn't it? Shit. Shit! Well, that was excellent. I'm assuming that this stops time. Yes, it does. But I used it at the, like, the worst possible time. Oh shit, my whip is shit? What happened to my whip? It's fucking rope now. Look, it's all limp. Oh shit. Look at this performance issues. Somebody get Simon some... Some fucking, that, you know, that good shit. Give me some Viagra. I didn't want to make the obvious joke. And say Viagra, but I totally did. Also, look at this. Look at this lip shit. Oh, hey, Challenger Keanu. What's up? And also, thank you for subscribing, you beautiful bastard. 
Okay, I can't whip in all directions anymore. I'm just now realizing. So, uh, shit's kind of fucked at the moment. Oh, sweet! I got it back. Okay, so it is like, it's like a power-up. Okay, cool. Good to know. I'll keep that on hand. Yeet! Yo, double the whip length! Oh, oh, so it keeps extending the length. That's cool. Look, look, look at this! Look at this shit! Oh, I love it. Oh, I don't like this. Oh shit, boss? Boss time? Oh shit, boss time. Uh, uh, oh shit. I'm gonna get fucked. Ah, oh, fuck you! Ha, ah, fuck you! Oh shit. Oh my god. Oh my god! I'm using the clock, it's not doing anything! <laughs> oh, gamer powers! Don't worry, chat. I got it now. I know what I'm doing now. I'm an epic gamer. Epic gamer, let's go. No more fucking around. No more fucking around, let's go. Need that, thank you. Oh, fuck you. Okay, let's go. Give me that strut. Oh my god, die, please. Okay, let's go. Yes! Double that whip length! Oh my god! It's a crack to me. You're playing this because Simon's in Smash, aren't you? <laughs> you know me so well. Plus, I've never really played a Castlevania game, and I was like, fuck, I should probably... What the fuck is wrong with me? Okay, you know what, you know, I I'm gonna, I'm gonna do something really quick. I'm gonna move chat right next to the window. So that way, I can't, I can't fuck up. I'm physically in unable to fuck, unable to fuck up. Because chat will be right next to it. And therefore, you fuckers can't distract me with your beautiful faces. Somebody asked, uh, I think I've already asked this, but are you gonna do a Christmas stream tomorrow? Uh, because it's, it's, this is like the Halloween stream. Uh, probably not. I'll probably do Crystal Monsters tomorrow because everybody loves a good Crystal Monster. Okay, I know I've said it before, but this time I know what I'm doing. And this time I won't die. Why? Because I'm a cool boy. boy. Oh, no, please. Please! Waggle! Okay. <laughs> oh, performance issues. Yeet! Oh my god. Please do not swavel on my diggle. Careful, if you die in this game, it's game over and you have to start the level over. <laughs> I gotta be more careful. I'll get it this time. Okay, can I jump? No, I can't. Oh my god. <laughs> oh shit. Okay, let's do this. Eh, eh, eh. Fuck. Fuck! Well, this is a powerful whip, and it has good range. Oh fuck. You! Fuck you! Yes! Oh wait, what? Oh, that fake out though. Holy shit. Welcome to the bone zone, Salty. I don't like the bone zone. What is this pulsating fucking whoopee? I was about to say whoopee Goldberg. What? What What are those chocolate things called? Like mothballs or something like that? Whoopee balls? Wow, stage one, and I got my ass handed to me like a million goddamn times. Avamaster donated me some bits, or gave me some bits. I don't know how bits work. And they asked, how is uh, the Game Master squad going? Uh, it's going pretty good. Uh, me and my friends, we're going to be maining Pit, Mega Man, and Simon Belmont. We're going to call ourselves the Game Masters after, uh, you know, 
the the you know the uh, fucking what's it called that that show M Mr. Mike and the Game Masters What what the fuck am I saying Mr. Mike and the Game Masters Why the fuck can I not think while playing this game This is unfair I don't appreciate these zombie hands coming out of the ground Yes, yes, yes. Gamer, gamer, gamer. Epic gamer. Captain N, the game master. Why the f what the fuck did I say? Mega Mike? <laughs> it's the new reboot. They're rebooting the entire franchise is Mega Mike. Fuck you, you fucking armadillo ass bitch. I hate you. I hate everything that you stand for. You small armadillo fucker. I wish death upon all of you armadillo fucks. I hate this hedgehog! Please. Thank you. Yeet yeet skeet skeet. Yes, give me all these hearts that don't give me health. What do the hearts do? Can someone please tell me? Because I never really thought about it before. Yes, chicken! I'm just fucking all up these candelabras that are just all over the place. And somebody stored their chicken wings inside of these candelabras. The hearts make you love us. Well then fuck, I don't need this shit. I'm just kidding. I mean, I don't... Like, love you, love you. I like you. Don't get me wrong. But I don't love you. I would say... You guys have pretty eyes. Get the fuck out of here. Okay. So far, so good. I say that and I will die instantly. Okay. <clears throat> You see, I would say that this is, like, more effective in scaring me than any horror game because, like, I'm just scared of dying and having to start over. That's the true scare. No! No! Oh, my God. The clock is down there. I want the clock. Okay. <laughs> oh, my God! Please, please. I don't want that heart. I don't need it. Simon's a big boy who don't need no love. But he does need some big boy loving. Okay, so now... Can I make this jump? I don't think I can make that jump. No. Okay, well that taught me that this is quicksand. So I shouldn't be too scared. When I almost fucking die in it. Oh, you fucking hedgehog. <laughs> oh no! It just went right into that! Oh my god, please. Oh my god. Yes, give me... What is this, a cross? Do, do all crosses act like boomerangs when you throw them? Oh my god, that, that almost fucking landed on me. No. He. Oh shit. Oh, please. Please. Also, I see some people having issues with chat. Uh, so I still am a slightly unfamiliar with Twitch. So, some things get censored, and some things do not. I'm sorry. Sorry for any issues regarding that. Also, I'm back at the fucking beginning, so hell yeah. Well, not the very beginning, but still. Far enough back that it sucks. Somebody said in chat, the crosses act like boomerangs because that's how Jesus came back. Thank you.
I think Salty should play Ghosts and Goblins after this. I'd love to play Ghosts and Goblins at some point, but that game is ridiculously hard. Fucking frogs! The water's making the frogs gay! Yeah, no, I'm not dealing with that no more. Fuck you. Are you fucking kidding me? Please, please don't make me stop. God fucking damn it. Okay. Good at video game powers activate. Okay. Please. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, no. Fuck you! Fuck you and your skull ass fucker! Get out of here! God! Stop touching my leg! I didn't give you consent! I didn't give you no consent! So if you hit them with the end of your whip, it does more damage, right? Because that's what I'm- I'm feeling on this. What's the death count so far? We should have a death count. I think that it's on like five or six. Okay, I know how to how to fuck these guys. Okay, let me rephrase that. I know how to kill these guys. Yeah, that's better. Yeet yeet skeet skeet. Here comes Simon Belmont to fuck up some shit. Okay. Uh someone in chat just asked me to say the N-word. Alright, I'll say it. Nice guy. That's the N-word that you were talking about, right? You fucking Neanderthal! Listen, I'm not PewDiePie. I'm not PewDiePie or JonTron. I don't say uh, naughty words. But I do say fuck. Okay, I'm just gonna be constantly whipping. Fuck all you. Oh, you fucking... you fucker. I don't appreciate this. I'm gonna throw so much goddamn shade right now that you're gonna feel like that you're underneath a tree. Because you got so much shade. Fucking trees and shade and... That ninja sucks at Fortnite. Huh. PewDiePie's content is unoriginal and unfunny. Oh, uh, there's gonna be so much shade. I like to think that that's what Simon Belmont sounds like. I'm gonna kill Dracula. Back up, fuckers. Dracula won't know what hit him when, when I hit him with my whip. Fuck Dracula. Dracula's a punk ass bitch. I'm gonna whip him! <laughs> Back up, fuckers! I love how my Simon Belmont voice just kind of devolved into Chris Chan. Fuck you! I'm gonna use my whip on you, Dracula! And it's gonna hurt you! And you won't know what hit it, because you won't see the whip, because it'd be so fast. I'll be like, holy shit, that whip is so cool. Where'd you get that whip? My mom gave it to me. <laughs> uh. Bitch, get out of here. I'm Simon Belmont. I'm from the Belmont family. Don't you know us? We're really cool. My dad, um, Stephen Belmont. <laughs> Jeff Belmont. What the fuck is this? It's like Medusa, but a man. It's Mandusa. It's got a... Oh my god, please, please. It Mandusa is dead. Was that supposed to be Medusa? Or Medusa, but a man?
Hey Salty, you have over 700 likes on your post about one like equals one Super Smash Bros character. Are you sure about this? Yeah, I'll figure it out. I'm sure, I'm sure I can come up with 700 suggestions for Smash Bros characters without it getting too meme -y. The last time I did it, it became super meme -y. No, my Simon Belmont voice doesn't sound like Oni, it sounds like Chris-chan. Oni just does a Chris-chan voice a lot. To the point where people literally just associate his Chris-chan voice as just being... Oni. Or just being, well, Chris. Or oh, let me, let me do something real quick. Can you do a Shane, Daw Shane Dawson impression? Isn't that just like... Like... Hey guys, it's me, Shane Dawson. I sound very flamboyant. What? Oh, I jump into Red Spike and I die! Just like in real life game. Game is also telling me to not jump into Spike. What meme were you sad to find out die? Harambe, because it died on my birthday? I'm sorry, not it. Harambe, the gorilla, died on my fucking birthday. And now I can never celebrate my birthday without my friends being like, oh, rip Harambe. Like, I was sad for the wrong reason. I wasn't sad about the gorilla. I was mostly just sad because my birthday will ever forever be associated with the death of a fucking gorilla. Meanwhile, everybody in chat's like, I miss Steam Hams. Steam Hams never fucking died. It's still, people are still remixing it. I don't think Steam Hams is one of those memes that can die. It's like impossible to die. Oh my god. Here I come, Dracula. You're not gonna see what, what hits you when I, when I get on my whip and I whip it around. Uh, uh. I'm gonna make you deader than Harambe. The infamous gorilla who died for our sins. My day of birth was the day of Harambe's death. Let that sink in. The day I came into this world was the day that Harambe came out. Isn't that fucking crazy? Well, at the very least, now when the date, birth, I mean, death date of Harambe comes around, you guys will know. Oh my god, it's Salty's birthday. Pretty nuts. Oh, hey! I got past the level. Hell yeah. If Salty didn't exist, then we'd still have Harambe. You know, that might be true. Do you like Chris Chan's new uh, voice? Christine Chandler or something like that. Yeah, I mean, like, good for Chris Chan. For, you know, coming into their own and, you know, becoming a woman. But apparently, he still hates gay people? Is that a thing? I mean, they still hate gay, gay people, sorry. I remember Chris was supposed to uh, come on a podcast with me, and then she never did it. She just stopped contact with, a, with us, and I was like, oh, okay. Doesn't matter that, you know, we booked you. We're actually trying to do something professional, but whatever. Whatever, Chris. Are gay people real? Uh, that's a really good question. Uh, I, I think so. I think I'm friends with multiple. Many a gay person is my friend. You've seen it here first, everybody. Simon Belmont. The the big, big sh kahuna of the Belmont clan gets hurt when he touches water droplets. He's a fire type. <laughs> Fuck these water droplets. Can you do the voice of a closeted gamer? <laughs> what? Like, like a, a gamer that's like... also gay? 
Oh my god, that's so close. Oh, fuck. So, like, a gamer that's, like... Okay, a closeted gamer. Hey, hey, guys, it's me. Uh, my name is Ted. I'm not gay, but I really like video games. They're my favorite hobby. Also, I sometimes... I, I kind of like dick. No, not really. Ah, shit. I don't know. I feel like that's offensive. Is it offensive? I don't know. I love gay people. But not, like... Not like because I'm gay, because I love people in general. Not because I'm bi, I sexually like women, but I s s just normal like people. Hey Salty, when will you play Metopia again? Eventually, I'll get back to it. I'm just having fun, you know? Just having fun streaming what I like. Just having a good, grand old time. Oh shit. No! You fucker. Give me that holy water. Okay, there's nothing over here. Go, Simon. Go. Do you think that Simon struts like that because he's, like, constipated? And the, the like, shit is accumulating inside of his ass? And he's just like, Oh, oh I got a shit! Oh my god! What the hell? Granddad! Sorry, uh... My shitty Joel voice came out for a second. The rumor comes out. Is- does Salty DK Dan is da is- is gay? I can't- I couldn't even read that. The rumors, they are false. I'll put this to bed. I am the straightest white man that you have ever seen in your goddamn life. Fuck, I- you know what I need to do is at some point I'm gonna need to do another big collaboration stream with another streamer again because last time I did that, that was fun. I think the last person I collabed with was GPM and that was really fun. I should do that again with somebody. What is this? What is this monster? Whip it. Can I kill it? I don't think it's killable. Sorry, I just threw up in my mouth a little bit because that uh, that little green thing was so disgusting to me. Yep. Here I come, Dracula. I'm gonna swing over to you and I'm gonna fuck you. I mean, kill you with my whip. Hiya! Is this Yoshi's Island? Yeah, actually, this is a uh, this is Yoshi's Island. Uh, Shigeru Miyamoto was like, "Okay, can we put monsters in Yoshi's Island?" And Nintendo was like, "No." So then he made a uh, made Castlevania. I think one of my favorite jokes is just saying that that Shigeru Miyamoto created like every game. Like, did you know Simon Belmont was actually conceived by Shigeru Miyamoto? Shigeru Miyamoto was like, what if there was a guy named Simon, and he was like, hey, I, I hate Dracula. And then Konami was like, wow, really great Shigeru, but don't you work at Nintendo? Why the fuck are you in our office? Yeah, I don't think I could kill this thing, so I guess I'll... Mm. No! Well, whatever. Haha. <laughs> I love video games. They're not shitty at all. Oh shit. I'm getting better at this, at the very least. Oh 
But let's see what's over here. Give me these hearts. Salty, he can whip, but can he nay nay? How do I... How do I ban somebody from chat? I still haven't figured it out. I think that that's a bannable offense, right? Watch me whip! Watch me nay nay! Okay! Oh my god. Fucking plants. On the ground. What is that, a plant or a slime? Do you think? I wonder how many people tuned out after I said, uh, Whip and Nene. Oh, Copycat's gone. <laughs> people did tune out. As expected. Die, foul demon. Go back to whence you came. Yeet. I'm the best video game player ever. And don't nobody tell you different. Man, I can't see shit behind this waterfall. This is bullshit. I don't like jumping up this fucking waterfall. I think it's dumb and stupid. But I am over here finally. Holy shit! So apparently the original Castlevania is completable within like 20 minutes, but only if you're good. Which is something that I'm not, so... Holy shit! What the fuck is happening? Can I... Can I get back up here? I cannot. I fucked myself. Yep. Alright. Okay. I tried taking my time in this stage and it did not work, so we're just going to... Uh... How many of those barrels are gonna fall? Mm, I don't like this. I don't like that! I don't like that one bit, brother! Okay, stairs. Use stairs. Oh, there we go. Why are the stairs so jank? Fuck. Fuck. Oh! No! You motherfucker. Well, this is much- this is much harder than any other part of the game that I have experienced thus far. Please. What? What? The barrels just fall in random places. It don't matter where you go. The barrels will fall. Ah, oh, shit. Okay. 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 No. Fuck you. Aha. Death to you. Tell us a ghost story. Well, this is pretty scary. You don't need to tell. You don't need me to tell a story. Uh, once upon a time, there was a blue cow. The cow was so blue that people were terrified. Why was the cow blue? No one really knew. And so they, they killed it. They crucified this cow. And they, they burned its flesh to ash. The end. Was that... Was that what you wanted? No, fish man. Stop it. Stop shooting your water at me.
I don't, I don't appreciate this. Okay, here I come. Up the stairs. Where is the ghost in that ghost story? There don't need to be a ghost. The ghost was inside of us all along. Go upstairs. Go. Go up the... Go. Upstairs. Yes! Yes! Do the moonwalk. Yeah! Moonwalk! You fucking clubber. You bitch. I don't like this skeleton man going back and forth like that. Okay. Can I? Yes. Cool. Okay. Go up. Upstairs. Moonwalking. What is that? Holy shit. I have no idea what that was. How the fuck do I get up there? Oh! What is this I see? Hey -ya! The power of Christ compels ye. Oh, back upstairs! Seriously, I think that the moonwalking up the stairs has just improved this game like a thousand percent for me. Okay, I'm just gonna kill this thing before I get any higher because I know it's gonna give me a pain in the ass later, so... Yeet, 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 up the stairs backwards, I don't give a fuck! Oh my god, you fucking crows! Fuck off. No, I could really use, like, a chicken leg right now. Yeah, okay. Sounds about right. I am an intelligent young man. I'm good at gaming. And don't let nobody tell you no different. We're good so far. Okay, we're good. Shit. Yes! My whip is not long enough for these. Oh my god. Not worth it. Shit. Salty's bad at gaming. Yes, I am. Or am I? Yes. What? I didn't... Okay. All the way back here. Damn. <laughs> I... Don't know what... I just... I've, I've, I'm just gonna keep killing myself until I get a game over again. I I need to start over really quick. I <sighs> Okay, just die. Please die. You will never make it to Dracula.
Salty watches JoJo. Of course he sucks at games. Hey, fuck you, Mega Dan 04. Mega Dan, more like Mega f fucking dick. Fuck you. Hey, hey chat. How about you guys play Castlevania? See see who's laughing now. He 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 ho 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 F funny meme. It's a hard game. I'm it's difficult. Salty smells bad because he watches anime. What a loser. I mean, you're right. On multiple fronts. Well, I don't know if I smell bad. I do use deodorant and I shower. But the anime watching thing, that is that is very on point. You motherfucker. You fucking bat. You bitch bat. I'm going to become the best Castlevania player of all time. Just you wait and watch, chat. Oh shit. Mm. Fuck you! Fuck you and everything you stand for! You fuck! What's your least favorite video game? That's actually a really good question because normally I get what's your favorite video game? But I never get my least favorite. I don't know. Ah, fuck, dude. That's actually that's a really good question. My favorite game is Undertale. No, that's not that's not my favorite game. I was just reading chat out loud. Um my least favorite video game. Okay, what are video games that suck? Let's start with that and work our way from there. Sonic 06. I mean, even Sonic 06 is at least fun, like, story-wise. Because the story is just so out there. It's literally like the fucking story of a goddamn Final Fantasy game. I mean, it looks like a Final Fantasy game. Like, hot damn. I don't know. I'd have to really think on that. I don't think I outright... I'm not like like AVGN where like I outright hate certain games. Man. I don't know. I mean, one of my favorite games of all time is uh, The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. And I don't really know if I have the right to say that because I haven't completed the game fully either. I just really enjoy Majora's Mask for what it is. Also, how did that hit me? Uh, onward to victory, Simon. Hey guys, uh, here's a funny uh, gamer joke. What if instead of Simon Belmont, it it was Simon Cowell from American Idol and X Factor? What if he was like, you know, I really like your performance, Dracula, but at the same time, you're really lacking. You're kind of a huge cunt. And I know I can't say that on live TV, but I'm totally going to say it. You're a huge cunt. You're talentless, you're a bitch, your mother probably smells. Yeah, that would be pretty, pretty epic. Oh man, somebody in chat just reminded me that the song Pants on the Ground exists. Pants on the Ground? Pants on the ground. Looking like a fool with your pants on the ground. Dracula, pull up your pants, yo. Pull up your goddamn pants, Dracula. Dracula don't suck. That's a myth. Dracula scrape and lick. Scrape and lick. 
Ha ha ha. La 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 la. I love the Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy. I fucking love that show. I swear to God. It's one of my favorite cartoons of all time. It's just so good, and nobody really talks about it. It's like, where's the love? Okay. Fucking fish people, am I right, ladies? Just gonna wait for these fucking barrels to fall. Ah, yes, barrels. My worst enemy. Come with me, Stefano. We will defeat the barrel army. <laughs> Shit. These barrels. They will not defeat us, Stefano. Stefano. Barrels. <laughs> It's my epic PewDiePie impression. Man, why, why does... Why does PewDiePie don't talk about barrels no more? Come on, Pews. Pew, all Pewds does is steal my fucking meme. That's all he does anymore. He just steals memes. He doesn't credit people for the videos that he reacts to. You know what we really want, Pewds? We want you to talk about barrels and Stefano. So how about you man the fuck up and start talking about barrels again? You never defeated the barrel army. You fucking asshole. Pewd's rivalry with barrels was never fully satiated. Oh my god, we should play the fucking PewDiePie game on stream. Now that's, that's a great game. I don't know if you can sense my sarcasm. Barrels! Come on, bros! We will defeat the barrels! No! Hey, PewDiePie! I'm PewDiePie! <laughs> I'm stupid and I smell. That's my PewDiePie impression. <laughs> Shit! God, why am I so sucky at games? Okay, grab that, yeet, yeet myself over here. I'm gonna get hit by this fucking water spout again, aren't I? Shit, don't hit me. Thank God that did not hit me. I would have been fucked royally if that did hit me. Okay, cool. Yeet! I love that you can moonwalk. I know they probably did not mean to design that into the game, but they did, so... I'm fucking taking advantage of it. Okay, go, go away, Skeleton. Oh, what am I doing?! It's okay. Everything is okay. I am okay. I am not angry. Why would I be angry? I love this game. I love playing video games. God, I'm such a fucking twat. Oh my god, please. Please! Are you fucking kidding me? 
this part is so ass. These fucking skeletons and their big old cocks ruining my life. Okay. Okay. Yes. Thank you. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, bros. It's the Barrows. Barrows. Oh shit, bones. Oh my god. Fuck off, skeleton snake boy. Somebody said in chat that Kevin is clearly gay for Fred, and I don't know uh, if you're talking about Fred Figglehorn and Kevin from the Fred thing on YouTube, or if you're just talking about two different people from your class, and I just died. Uh, but I'm gonna assume that you're doing some sweet, sweet gossip about uh, your uh, your classmates. So uh, yeah, let's let's talk about that. I hear that Kevin is so gay for Fred. Like, oh my god. I mean, they're both smoking hot, so. I took a break. Why are we talking about Fred? No, I'm just talking about a person named Fred that is clearly gay for Kevin. Whoever Kevin is. Well, I mean, the actor for Fred is insanely gay. So, I mean... Making the character gay would just make sense. Do you guys think that years from now, there's going to be like a TV special where they bring back Fred? And it's going to be all like nostalgia for people. Going to be like, oh my god, I used to watch Fred. God fucking damn it. Why am I such a piece of shit? Fuck this game. Oh my god. Why can I not do this shit? I fucking hate myself. I hate myself. I hate everyone. I hate everything. I hate Konami. With their fucking bullshit ass Castlevania ass fucking game. I fucking hate this. Please. Yes. Oh my god. Okay. Just just walk. Just ignore him. Who who fucking cares? He don't he don't matter. He don't matter to you. Fucking skeleton snake. Fuck. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, I can just hit him from here. It's fine. It's fine. I'm fine. I'm not upset at all. I can't wait for when Fred comes out of his house for the first time in years and he's a middle-aged man with the still same high-pitched voice. I can't wait for that too. Oh my god. Oh sure, now you decide to jump up on the fucking ledge. Good job, Simon. Fucking moron. Jesus Christ, Simon, stop moonwalking. S Simon, Simon, I swear to god. I swear to fucking god. There's times for moonwalking, and there's times for action. Okay, okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. We are good. We are so good. We're fine. Video games are fun. I'm having a good time. Oh, oh my god. Please, please, Simon. We've never gotten this far. Simon? Don't you... What? What is happening? Hello? Please don't tell me that there's a boss here. Come on. No. I'm going to die. Oh my fucking god. And I don't have any items. Good. Good. Shit. Okay, I can hit him. Okay. Be my whip. Shit. Fuck 
you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck. Fuck. Oh shit. Oh my god. Please. 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 I beg of you. I've never asked for much in my life. I just, I just want to win. Please. Oh my god, yes. Oh my god. Yes, give me this whoopee. This whoopee chocolate ball. Thank you. Oh my god. We're making our way to Dracula. Shit, how far am I in the game? Bits for good luck. Thank you, garbage boy. I don't like this skeleton staring at me. <sighs> Shit. Fuck you. I know all of your tricks. All of your tricky tracks. Are these like destructible? These like green platforms? Shit. Holy fuck. God. Don't fuck with me. Don't fuck with me. Ooh, girl, you shine in like a first avenue diamond. Okay, we're good. I like I like the skeletons on the on the walls that kind of look at you. That's cool. I knew it. I knew it. I knew that those things would fucking fall. They look too out of place not to fall. Fuck you and everything that you stand for. Okay. We're good. We're good. We're good. I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. Y you motherfuckers. I saw that. You can't trick me. Oh my god. You can't trick me, Konami. You can't sell me save files for DLC. At Salty DK Dan, what's the favorite? Uh, shit. What's your favorite video that you've made? Um, fuck, man. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I think it was probably episode three of A Day in My Life because I just think that that shit is so funny. Uh, episode 3 of A Day in My Life. If you don't follow me on YouTube, uh, it's a series of like really shitty vlogs that I do where I just edit memes into the vlogs and shit. <laughs> what do I do? What do I do there? But yeah, it, it's my favorite because uh, it just, I have a lot, I have very fond memories with it. We bought like a shitload of Skylanders and gave them to our friend as a joke. And I don't know. I think that that was like my big last hurrah before I went off to college. Is your life really a shit post? Yeah, pretty much. So how the fuck? How the fuck do I do this? Oh, okay, 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 okay. <sighs> fuck your bones. Fucking Skeleman, fuck you. Stop crawling out of the walls. Where the fuck is Dracula? Dracula, come the fuck out already. Jesus. Okay, okay. God damn it. Oh my god. Okay, okay, okay. 
Oh no 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 Oh mama Jesus Christ why is this so stressful oh my god This is like the opposite of fun this is like nega fun All the way back. All the way back. <laughs> I love this game. I love having fun with my friends on video game. It is very fun. I will fucking beat this shit. I swear to God. Ugh. Okay, I think I got the timing down. <sighs> Fuck you. Dracula, you can suck my dick. You won't suck my blood, you suck my dick! Oh my god. Okay, I think I got this. Okay, now this shit is gonna fucking kill me. Called it! I won't be able to beat this shit. There's no way. I'm just too bad at games. I'm trying so hard. <laughs> like chat, you you would not believe. Fuck! I, I, I did the same thing before. Oh my god, am I just am I just destined to be a fucking dumbass? This stream went from like I love Castlevania. This is such a cool game to fuck this, fuck everything, fuck my life, fuck I, I fuck everything. Are you- You're fucking me. You are straight fucking me. Fuck you. You do realize that this chat isn't real, right? We're just all the voices in your head just talking to you. I wish. I wish that the voices in my head were as funny as you guys. All they tell me to do is kill, kill, kill. Maim. Destroy. You. Oh, boss. Great. Great. I'm so stoked. Yeah, boss. What the fuck are you? Oh my god. No, no, no tongue, please. I'm not into tongue. I... Oh my fucking god. Shoot me in the fucking face and call me Sally. This game, why? This game was supposed to be the fun version. There's nothing fun about the pain that I am currently being endured to. Enduring. Can't even speak. L let's talk about something else. Somebody asked earlier uh, if I'm going to, now that Infinity War is now available on Blu-ray and DVD if I'm going to re-edit the movie like I say and uh, Input every single time that they say uh, Infinity gauntlet to big boy glove and I would love to if not for the fact that Apparently they don't say infinity gauntlet once in the entire movie Apparently apparently that's that's the deal Which sucks I will say, because now I can't make anybody say the big boy glove because apparently that just isn't a thing. Oh my god. Fuck these skeletons. Fuck everything that they stand for. I hate them. I hate them skeletons. Rattle me bones, chat. Rattle me fucking bones. Touch me. Touch my bones. Nyeh.
See, all the good streamers are having fun. They're playing games like Mario Odyssey. I'm playing this shit. Okay, okay you move. You move now. Fuck you. Fucking chestnut ass skeleton. Wait, where are you going? Si Simon? Oh, there's more. Oh, of course there's more. Why would there not be more? Oh. My. God. Holy shit. The power of the SNES. Is it going to constantly rotate? Oh my god, it is, isn't it? Okay, no. Fucking Medusa heads, get out of here! As I said previously, fucking Medusa heads, get out of here. And my whip is now short once again. Thank you, video games. Can I just keep... Oh my god. Fucking Medusa heads. Get your shit out of here. They just keep coming. They just keep coming. Why wouldn't they? What am I doing? What do I do here? Do I just try to survive? Damn, dog. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh my god. Thank the fucking lord. Somebody in chat said, oh, look, this is like the room that they have in all the Ripley's Believe It or Not museums. Really? Really now? They have this kind of room where Medusa heads show up and try to fucking kill you and your family. Fuck you. 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 Oh my god. Yes, I was right. I was right. I was right. It's a gauntlet. Oh my god. <sighs> they responded with, yeah, a, a room with Medusa heads in it. I lost my friend Marcus to it. I'm so sorry. It's a fucking gauntlet of just Medusa heads. I hate this shit. I just have the shitty old whip. Oh my god. Oh my god. Shove me in a cardboard box and just let me die. Please. Oh my god. It's my last life, probably. So let's make this shit fucking count. Every single one of the skeletons in this game is Ness. Thank you for that contribution, chat. I... I have nothing to say. I have nothing to say. Nothing to say that hasn't already been said. You know... You know... Why do you play video games? Do you play them for enjoyment? Do you play them because you seek a challenge? 
Maybe you play them to escape from reality. But why do I play video games, you ask? I play them to simply feel free. And this, this is not that feeling. I feel caged in a place where I will constantly die over and over again. If anything, this is the true definition of hell. I'm not falling for any of this shit. Why are you punishing yourself? Chat asks. Because I want to show this fucking game who's boss. Here we fucking go. Oh, one second, chat. I just got to do something real quick. Okay, we are back. My water bottle in front of me uh, had some water on the table and it was kind of making a puddle, so. Oh my god. Fuck off with that. Fuck off. Fuck you. So the key to that fight is to just make it go above you. Because you're already going to be whipping up, so it's like... Okay, let's try to see if I can take advantage of the fact that I have this fucking chain whip. Here goes nothing. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Oh my god. Yes, yes. Oh no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, I hate my life. <laughs> Wonderful. This moonwalk is the last thing that gives me joy. I was so close. I was so close. So close to salvation. So close to feeling free for but a moment because God knows shit's gonna go down after these fucking Medusa heads. Yep. Oh my god. Shit's about to go down, chat. I'm sorry, what? You're saying I'm not supposed to go down the obvious hole? Good. Hello, sir. This is the Konami Help Hotline. How may I help you? Hi, I think that your game is broken. Uh, are you talking about uh, our latest Metal Gear Survive title? Uh, in which case that, uh, yes, I can help you. No, I'm talking about Super Castlevania for the SNES. Uh, I'm sorry, sir, but... We no longer support that title on our hotline. I don't fucking care. You're gonna come to my house and beat this fucking game for me. Excuse me, sir? You fucking heard me, bitch. You're gonna come to my fucking house and beat this shit for me. And you're gonna do it. Because I'm very angry at the moment. 
In fact, I did not mean to call you bitch. You know what? I'm sorry. Let's try this again. My name is Salty. As you can tell, I'm very salty. But yeah, fuck. Fuck everything. Oh my god. I will get fucking gray hairs before the end of this goddamn game. Oh my god, I'm going to vomit. Oh my god, this background. Oh my god, this background. Oh my god. This is so... I don't like this. I don't like this one bit. I'm gonna fucking bomb. Oh, you fucker. The power of the SNES must be stopped. Oh, finally. We're back to just sprite shit. Oh, you... Fucker. Please. Please. Fucking bats, dude. Fucking bats, dude! Fucking bats, dude! These bats are making me go batshit insane, ha! <laughs> I'm sorry for lack of commentary. I am focusing very hard. <laughs> no, no. <sighs> I don't know if I should be going up or down. I'm going to assume up. Hope that I'm correct. Okay, let's go. Somebody, somebody ask a question so I can calm my nerves for a second. Like, oh my god. Oh my god, please. Please help me, please. Have you gotten your free flex tape yet? No, not yet. I'm working on it. Seconds away from being crushed, Simon Belmont prevails. There's nothing here. There, there's obviously something over here that I cannot access. What's your favorite Star Wars? My favorite Star Wars is the original. The uh, Star Wars Episode 4. Or you know what? I also really like Star Wars Episode 3. And I know people are gonna give me shit for it. But I just think the movie's really funny. And just, it's, I don't know. There's something about it that I actually really enjoy. Execute Order 66. Anakin? Master Anakin, why do you have a lightsaber out? Because I'm going to show you how to use your lightsaber. Well, fuck! Hell yeah! Let's get fucking turned, Anakin! Does Yoshi like anal? Okay, so when I asked questions... <laughs> when I said to ask questions... I did not... ...mean for it to go... ...to go there. But I will respond, yes. Very obvious. Okay, this is way too fast for me. I'm not liking this at all. Simon, Simon, please. Oh 
Oh my god. Oh my god, I think I peed a little. Uh. Quickly, Simon. Moonwalk to destiny. Go, Simon. It is up to you now. Save the Gamosphere. Defeat the evil Mother Brain. And then you can go to Dracula or whatever. What's happening here? I don't like this. Oh my god. What are you? No, I don't... I don't appreciate that. Fuck my life. My life is but a walking shadow of which there is no return. Hey, look, it's that guy from Thor Ragnarok. Oh, Korg? Everybody's favorite? Ah, fuck. Wait, I gotta answer a text. Dearest friend. Dearest friend is texting me. Dear Salty, are you okay? I see your stream. Do you need me to call help? Uh, how long are you going to be able to stream? Uh, I'm going to be... I'm going to be streaming... I don't know. Maybe for another 30 or so minutes. Um, I really want to make it to Dracula. We're really close. I think. I mean, according to the map, we're really close. I want to fuck that motherfucker up. So sick and tired of his bullshit. Hey guys, you know what would be really epic? They put Fortnite in Castlevania. Simon Belmont needs those free V-Bucks. Shit monkeys. Balls? Fucking bats, get out of here. Oh shit, I need that. Fucking bats, dude. Fucking bats, dude. That's my new catchphrase. Fucking bats, dude. <laughs> Fucking bats, dude. These bats are gnarly at all. What the fuck's up with these bats? <laughs> Simon Belmont's gonna get that victory royale after he kills Dracula. And it's going to be sweet. Sweet, sweet victory royale. Aw, oh, shit. I could have actually taken advantage of that, and I didn't. <sighs> what a piece of trash I am. Somebody mentioned uh, Disenchantment in chat, and I watched the first two episodes of that, and it's pretty okay so far. I mean, it's not, like, super good or anything. But, you know, it's pretty okay. Fuck, I need to keep going. Going up. Up. Go, Simon. You will defeat Big Rock Boy with your whip. When I was a kid, I was super scared of vampires. I would always think that there was like a vampire or like some sort of witch hiding in my closet at night. And I would constantly have my parents check my closet. There was actually a hallway outside of my room when I was a kid that had like... Like a security light. For like uh, like just in case like somebody breaks into the house, it like... It's a light that like detects it. Detects like the break-in and can like uh, sense it. 
but for some reason the light at the end of the hallway would always scare the shit out of me when I was a kid. I was terrified of that shit. Like a faux rizzle dog. I once had a variety of nightmares where the blinking light at the end of the hallway would would like get limbs like long lanky limbs and then like peer into my room it would be like salty Ooh. and i'd be like who is there it's like it's the light at the end of the hallway you fucking moron disappointment and i'd be like no I'd be like yes you fucking bitch Please, please whip work. Thank you. Okay, time for rock boy. Let's go. I'm ready this time. Okay. Oh my God, still. Oh my God. Oh my God. Fuck this shit. Fuck this game. Fuck this dang ass game. Oh my god. Okay, please. Okay. You. You motherfucker. I'll kill you and your entire family. Should we tell Salty how much time he has left? What do you mean? How far am I in this game? Don't sugarcoat it. Am I still in the tutorial? I swear to God. These fucking bats. You fucking bats. When I was a kid, I had dreams where a sentient ceiling fan would appear in my room and gravitate me towards the ceiling. That is terrifying. Thank you for sharing. Oh, I needed that. You motherfuckers. Hey. Not today. Not today, my friend. Nope, not going for a heart. You couldn't pay me to do that shit. But like I said, don't sugarcoat it. Tell me. How much more of this bullshit do I have? When I was a kid, I thought I turned into a dragon at night and flew around the town. Well, that's not really scary. That's more like a furry's like moment to shine. Like, wow, I finally became a sentient talking animal. Wow, great. I need to know what's in that candelabra. No! Not doing that. When I was a kid, I would- I would dream I went to a blanket store that led to a Chuck E. Cheese. I had that dream many times. That is very strange. I will admit. Wait, that's a suspicious wall! And I can't whip it from here. Fuck. I don't like this. I don't like where this is going. Is it just me or am I just going up infinitely? Is this like an infinitely looping thing? I swear to God. It is infinite, isn't it? God, I fucking hate this shit. When I was a kid, I kissed a worm and got very, very sick. Dude, why? And what do you mean, kissed a worm? Like, worms are pretty fucking small, dude. Like, I don't know what you did to that worm, but it probably was not kissing. You probably, like, sucked it. Sucked the head of the worm right up, like... And why the fuck were you kissing a worm? 
Like, most kids will, like, eat worms. Most kids will, like, just kill worms. You were just out here fucking kissing it. What the fuck? I will say, that is a little bit strange. I mean, no judgment. Because you probably wouldn't kiss a worm now, but... God damn, my guy. I remember one time I woke up because I dreamed that Donkey Kong had died. <laughs> I just imagine it. You wake up screaming. Tears. All over your face. Your parents come in, they're like, Honey! Honey, what's wrong? And they hold you. In their large arms. And you say, I had a nightmare! A, a nightmare? Honey, what was it about? I... I dreamed that Donkey Kong from the Donkey Kong Country series of video games published by Nintendo that he died and I got really sad. Oh honey, don't worry. Donkey Kong is immortal. Donkey Kong can't die, honey. Oh yeah. He can't die. Yeah. I was too busy talking about Donkey Kong that I'm getting my fucking ass whooped by the- When I was three, I had a dream about a fish book that didn't exist. When I woke up, I woke up, my parents asked them where the fi that fish book was, and I, I was four in the morning. What? 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 Lalex D, could you maybe phrase that story in a way that I can read? I think my brain had an aneurysm trying to read that. Holy shit. Like, I don't get the point of the story. Did you, like, predict? A book was real. Describe the book, please. When I was little, I told my crush I liked him, and he said, Ew, no. Fuck, man. That's fucking mean. Okay, remember this shit, chat? Remember this shit? That was hard at one point. Now it's fucking nothing. I'm now the pro. The pro player. Game Informer hired me to play all of the games and review them. Because I'm that good at video games. Does anybody remember Game Informer? Does anybody still even fucking read that, that shit? Now that the internet exists? I mean, the internet existed when it was around, but, like, video game reviews online were not that prominent. At least when I was reading it. I mean, I, there was, like, AVGN, but... <laughs> yeah, there was, like, AVGN, but, like, uh, nothing besides that, I would think. Nothing nothing crazy. Maybe some clones. Oh, uh, what, what was that, you ask? Oh, no, that was uh, just a, a small piece of me dying. Yeah, I think I started getting Game Informer because of a GameStop uh, promotion, too. GameStop really pushed that shit in your faces. You would, like, walk into GameStop and be like, Hi, uh, can I buy this game, please? It's like, oh, yeah, sure. Uh, are you a member of our rewards club? Uh, no, I'm not. Uh, can I just get the game, please? Like, oh, yes, of course. But have you, uh, have you signed up for Game Informer? Uh, no, I, I, I don't. I don't read. I, 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 I'm a third grader. I don't read. Oh, yeah, of course, of course, of course. Um, can we actually get your social security number, please? What? Your social security number, sir. Again, I'm a third grader. I don't read, and I don't know what a social security number is. Yes, but, uh, you see, you can't buy Pokemon Fire Red without giving us your social security number. I'm so sorry, sir. 
Uh, well, actually, uh, I don't want to give that to you, so uh, can I just get the game? Sure, but can you sell us your soul? What? Yeah, just your soul. Not that big of a deal. I mean, it kind of is. It's my soul. Well, I mean, you don't need it, right? Well, that is true. Go, Simon, go. You and your funky, fresh dance moves. Those kids got some funky, fresh moves. Oh, I forgot the whip button. Good, Simon. Good. Keep being shit. Keep being shit, Simon. Thank you. Knowing GameStop, they'd give you like five cents for your soul. If you trade in your soul with our uh, power-up program, we'll give you a substantial amount of money for it. How much you want to give me? Ah, uh, I think like two cents. What? It's my soul. Yeah, but it's used. So it's my fucking soul. If you sign up for our rewards program, you can actually uh, trade in uh, your firstborn child to get some gamer points. Wow, Simon's getting the shit kicked out of him right now. Yeah, if you give us your firstborn child, we'll actually give you some like uh, game game points, game gamer. G G Gamus points. How many game points am I gonna get? Oh, like 50 million? Oh, that's actually a really good deal. Yeah, but 50 million would only get you a used DS game at most. What? Hi, welcome to GameStop. How may I help you? Yeah, you guys sold me like... Like a small child. Uh, I, I wanted to get, like, Minecraft, but you sold me this small child. I, I don't know. I don't know why. Oh, yes, that comes with our Gamer gamer Power Up Rewards Card membership. Thanks, but I didn't want a child. The fucking membership. Man, I fucking hate GameStop. My cousin used to work at GameStop, and he would always uh, hold the games for me, like, uh, so I didn't have to, uh, well, whatever. Yeah, I, I know I was on my last life. I figured that I was going to die anyway, so might as well just get this shit over with. But yeah, uh, my, my cousin would always hold the games for me. He was a nice dude. He actually has a has a YouTube page. I've never really talked about it, but he does have a YouTube page. He reviews video games now. I'm trying to remember because he had he has an old YouTube page and he has a new YouTube page. Um I'm trying to remember what his new YouTube page is called. His reviews are genuinely good. He does not know that I have an online presence at all and that I watch his videos. But I totally do. And don't tell him. Don't tell him I sold you that. If I remember the name of the YouTube channel, I will tell you guys what it is. But do not go spamming him saying, Oh, Salty DK Dan sent me. He doesn't know who the fuck I am. Was GameStop good for him or trash? Oh no, he fucking hated it. He hated working at GameStop. Oh my god, my fucking neck. Uh I remember his old channel was Craig AA1028. I don't know what his new channel is called. I need to like think about it. Stop dying. If somebody could like tell me what his new channel is called, that would be very much appreciated. Because like, I know his old channel, I think he has a video on his old channel promoting his new channel. His reviews are like very good. 
And I don't think he has too many subs, so... Uh, at least on his new channel. So I don't know, give him a sub. When I was younger, I thought the GameStop was like a dream job for me. Yeah, no, I was the same way because I was like, oh man, working with video games? That's great. There's no possible bad repercussions of that at all. I bet that everything's lollipop and rainbows at GameStop. And I can talk about my favorite games all day. But the pay is shit. And they don't tell you that. And they treat you like dirt. Which they also don't tell you. I'd love to work at GameStop once. Just for the experience, I would say. But I've already worked at jobs where I've been treated like trash, so I kind of don't want to do that again. GameStop is a horrible company full of scumbags. Yeah, and I'm really glad that they might be going out of business soon. So, that's pretty cool. Uh, somebody asked, what was the name of the old channel again? It's Craig AA 1028 So, it's C-R-A-I-G-A-A-1028. I mean, by all means, tell him that Salty DK Dan sent you. He probably won't know who I am. Even though it's me, your cousin, but you don't know. He actually, uh, he actually had an issue recently where his, uh, his house literally was set aflame by his epic gaming equipment. Yeah, so that sucks for him. But, uh, he's figuring it out. I don't know if he's back in his house already, or if he's still, like, in a hotel room, but... Yeah, that shit was... That shit was fucked. Yeah, if somebody can tell me the name of his new channel, because... I, I'm thinking that it... Oh, Critical Nobody! That's what it's called. Critical Nobody. So it's like critical, like, C-R-I-T-A-L... And then Nobody. He does, like, game reviews and shit. It's really good, like... Good boy. Yeah, it's critical, critical nobody. Thank you, thank you, chat. Thank you for helping me on my journey. I should, like, DM him on Twitter and be like, Hey, it's me, your cousin. I meme on Twitter now. That's my thing. Yeah, g give him a sub. This is good shit. I forget which video it is. I think it's like top five Zelda games. Like, I love that video. It's so well put together. I strive for that sort of a uh, well put together thing. His last three videos aren't even reviews. Well, I haven't watched his channel in a little while. So, I don't know. Fucking sub to him anyway, fuck. I can't keep track of everybody. Been a little while. I mean, then again, also, you have to remember that his fucking house legit burst into flames. I forget the exact thing that triggered it, but it was like his gaming equipment downstairs just randomly set aflame. I remembered having a dream once where the real life Mr. Dr. Octagonopus was at my aunt's house, and he started blowing me up. Are you talking about THE Dr. Octagonopus of Shoop De Whoop lore? Dr. Octagonopus, blah! Dude, who fucking remembers Shoop De Whoop? That was my shit. I thought that Shoop De Whoop was like the funniest shit when I was younger. Like, holy shit. This is hilarious, huh? I like how he's firing his laser. I'm firing my laser. Blah. I remember the laser collection. Oh my god, the laser collection. Yeah, that's what it was called. Holy shit. Man, the memories are like flooding back to me right now. Being in middle school, like just fucking bent over my MP3 player that had the fucking video downloaded on it. 
because I didn't have a fucking iPhone like every other fucking kid. I had a little MP3 player that could like download videos on it. My God. Jesus, I feel so old now. Jesus. And I'm not even that old. I'm like 21. There are people that are way older than me, and I super exaggerate the fact that I'm old. I'm really not. I'm a youngin. I'm a millennial. I'm slowly killing the planet. Let's go, millennials. Let's kill the planet. Also, the laser collection got privated recently. What? Who would dare private the laser collection? Like, are you kidding me? That's like classic internet right there, and now it's gone. Unless people re-uploaded it. I mean, they probably did. It was a very popular video. Okay. Are we at Dracula's castle yet? Please tell me that we are. I will cry. Oh, yeah, I think this is Dracula's castle. Great, a whole new world of horrors. Fucking griffins. Shit, that had a fucking chicken, right? Or no, those are its talons. It They just look like they're holding chickens. No, what the fuck are these? I don't like this. I don't like this one bit. What the fuck is that? What is this? This thing I just collected. Oh shit. Well, now I don't have it anymore. Was that like an upgrade to like my, my items? Did I just fucking squander that? Probably did. When I was in middle school, I was such a big fan of like lol random comedy. So much to the point where I was like that dumb ass motherfucking kid who would just be like, haha, pudding. Like I would just say pudding and think that it was funny because it's lol xd random, which it was not. Actually, you know, speaking of middle school, I had a hobby in middle school, a really weird hobby, but a hobby nonetheless. Uh, so obviously you couldn't use your phone in middle school or like your Game Boy. So what I would do uh, during class, af like when we weren't doing anything in class and just kind of chilling out, I would make mazes. Like on a piece of paper. I would just draw up mazes. And that was just the shit that I did. Like I would draw up mazes on a piece of paper and I would store them away in my folder and just give them to my friends to just complete when they were bored. I didn't like completing mazes, I liked making mazes. And that was just the type of kid that I was. And one day, in my history class, my teacher, let's call her Mrs. Fitzgerald. Mrs. Fitzgerald noticed me making a maze while she was talking. And she took the maze away, and she never gave it back. And it was a maze that took up almost the entire page. So imagine, like, an entire couple of days of work just taken away from you. I was so pissed. I was like, I will never... I was so vindictive of what she did to me, taking that maze away, that I, I literally was like, okay, I'm never going to be interested in social studies or history ever and that I, I that was my thing like I just hated history what is this wait are you fucking kidding me the castle is its own thing 
Are you? Oh my god. <sighs> oh my god. I was also made fun of on the bus for folding origami. But I loved doing it. It got so bad that I stopped doing it for months. Dude. I hate people. Like, you do something that you love for fun, and they make fun of you for it. And it's something harmless, like folding origami, and it's beautiful. Folding origami is beautiful. I wish I, like, practiced folding origami. I would have loved to be able to do it now. Because it just seems so fun to be able to fold pieces of paper into cool shit. But people just ruin it for you, because people just hate having fun. And that was the whole thing too, like, uh... Ah, fucker. When I was a kid in middle school, it was around the time that people started to not like playing Nintendo games anymore, like Nintendo games were for babies. So they'd be like, Oh, you're not- you're playing fucking Nintendo games? What are you, some kind of baby? And you know, I'd always lie and be like, Yeah, I'm playing the new Call of Duty. And eventually I did start playing Call of Duty, but... Initially, it was just a lie to get people off my back about playing babby games. Like, you couldn't play Pokemon anymore. People would just make fun of you for it. You couldn't bring your Game Boy on the bus to trade with your friends. Because people would just make fun of you. And then rumors would spread that you were a little nerd. And no one would like to talk to you. My school, my middle school was, was shit. Nobody liked fun. Actually, I have a story. I have a really, really cringy story. Like, you guys will physically cringe hearing this story. Back in middle school, I was a really big Sonic fan. I still am, but in middle school, Sonic was my fucking life. Okay? I loved playing Sonic Adventure 2 every day after, after I got back from school. And... <laughs> in my art class... She let you, she let the students bring in CDs that you could play for the art class while we were like working on our art projects. And Young Salty, the brilliant mind that I was, was like, oh cool, I could bring in a CD with some of my music. And then I realized I didn't have any music. So what I ended up doing was going online and searching up Sonic Adventure 2 MP3s. And I brought in a CD that was just live and learn. And that was it. Just live and learn on a CD. Just looping infinitely the one song. And I brought it into the art class. And I was like, hey, I got my CD to play with my favorite music. And my art teacher was like, oh, awesome. Awesome, Salty. Here, here we go. And she puts the CD into the CD player. And starts playing Live and Learn, and everybody in the classroom hated it. They hated it so much, they were like, what the hell is this song from? And I'm like, oh, it's from my favorite game, Sonic Adventure 2. And from that day forward, I couldn't show my face anywhere near that school ever again. I was bullied so goddamn much for that. I was- I was a simple boy. All I- all I knew is that I liked Sonic Adventure 2, and I thought that other people would like the music too, but... I was wrong. I was so... So wrong. People in chat are asking me, Salty, what were you thinking? I was- I was but a youngin. I was but a- a babby. How could I have known? And what's even worse is that upperclassmen were in my art class. And, you know, these are people that I wanted to impress. And they just, they, they ridiculed me so much. It was a sad day. I'm getting my shit kicked in by these ghouls, by the way. I had a friend who had a crush on to call from Sonic Adventure 1 and he wrote about it in his writer's notebook and on a and read it out loud in front of our English class. Okay, you know what? Let me repeat that again. I want I really want to 
give a moment to this. I once had a friend who had a crush on Decal from Sonic Adventure 1, and he wrote about it in his writer's notebook and read it out loud in front of our entire English class. The absolute balls on this kid. Holy shit. I would never, I would have never done that. Like, you guys think I'm stupid for bringing in my CD with songs from video games? But that shit? Oh my god. Fucking balls. I have to ask, what was the reaction of the English class? Like... Like, I, I, I need to know. You gotta tell me. Cajunoid, you have to. Like, holy shit. Just imagining that. I, I couldn't, I would never. I'm not saying that I have a crush on to call. Because that's just kind of weird. Oh my god, why do I keep getting fucking messages? I'm gonna run out of- run out of lives. This is a fucking hard level. Starts out with this gauntlet, and then you're just fucked from there. People didn't know what to think. Everyone already knew that he was a Sonic fan. I mean, like... I'm not saying that I would ridicule the kid. But... Damn, dude. If you did that in my middle school, no one, no one would talk to you. Like, holy shit. Fuck. It was like six years ago in seventh grade. Jesus, dude. Okay, I'm getting my fucking ass handed. Okay. You know, I'm just gonna kill myself so I can start the level over. But holy shit! Oh, wait, I'm just gonna kill myself real quick. Almost forgot the whip button again. Let me actually, uh... Don't mind me. Just saving my game on my totally legit copy of Super Castlevania. If I had the chance to play a CD in class, I would record myself screaming for 10 minutes straight, put it over a death metal instrumental, and then just play it. B the balls. Man, I got a lot of stories from middle school. You know, l let's talk about something uh, something else pretty cringeworthy. Uh, the first time that I, I, I touched a boob. And, and this shit is probably one of my worst stories. Just because I always think about it. And I don't think about it for the, you know, the good reasons. Oh, remember that time I touched a boob? I think about it because it was one of the worst moments of my entire middle school career. And, uh, oh my god. So, get this. Let, let's, let's have a name for this girl really quick. Uh, her name was Sam. So, Sam and me, we weren't super good friends. We were acquaintances, uh, but we were friendly in our tech class. So we were hanging out in tech class and you know we always josh around in tech class because you know we don't really take it seriously. And uh Sam had taken my pencil case. And now you don't take Salty's pencil case and I'll tell you why. Because I need the pencil case, the pencils to make my notes. And so little Salty with the brine the the, the brine of a walnut decided hey I need to get that pencil case back 
So I reach to grab it and she takes it away. She like moves it. And I'm like, well, fuck, I got to get that pencil case back. So I go to reach to grab it again and she snatches it away again. And I'm like, damn, I got to get this pencil case back and she keeps snatching it away. I got to like grab it now. So I grab it again. She snatches it away and she puts it in the area in front of her chest. Now, again, young salty with the brain of a walnut is like, well, I see no possible bad repercussions from reaching toward the boob area with the pencil case there because I'm just going for the pencil case. So I reach out. I try to grab it from her hand. She snatches it away again, laughs, but my hand is still going for the boob area. I can't stop because, again, brain of a walnut, my brain just kept going and it, it, it touched the boob and uh, she flipped out and I was just like, I was just trying to go for the pencil case. I didn't mean to touch a boob. And that is the story of the time I touched a boob. We never talked again. Listen, it was her fault for like snatching away the pencil case every goddamn five seconds. My walnut brain can't take so much stress. I couldn't think straight and I just, I went for it. She snatched it away again and there was nothing between my hand and her boob. And yes, it's like a shitty anime scene. My life is just one long, shitty anime scene. I don't think I ever talked to her again, if I'm correct. Salty's life is an etchy anime. Dude, I fucking wish. What is happening? What, what are you? What the fuck is happening? What just happened? What were those things? <gasps> okay. Th those are just people. Those are just straight up people. So I did a pretty shitty job at telling those stories, but you got the gist of it. I'm sure that there will be moments where I'm reminded of them again and want to tell them again, but for the meantime, those are your exclusives about Salty touching a boob. There was no wall chicken. Oh my god, what are you? Fuck off. Fuck you. No, no, no. How the fuck am I supposed to know that those spikes kill you immediately? And I'm still in the first level of Dracula's castle, so this is pretty fun. I'm having a grand old time. Hey, I decided I'm going to fall asleep to the stream. Can you tell me a bedtime story? No. I'm in no brainiac mood to tell a bedtime story. I am sorry. What I can do is uh, tell you to go to sleep, though. Go the fuck to sleep. Don't sleep to this stream. It's a very bad idea. Because I will... I will yell. I will screech. You don't want to do that. You don't want to do that to yourself. What the fuck is this thing? What are you? Oh my god. It's just really a gauntlet of enemies. Like, straight up. At my middle school, there was a talent show for two years straight. I entered it and sang along to a kid's bop CD in front of the whole school. Makes sense why no one would want to talk to me. Ah, oh, god damn it, man. <laughs> I'm so sorry. That sounds horrible. <laughs> you would think that there would be wall chicken in here, but there is not. What's the deal with that? 
Oh my god, kill me. Just, no, well, don't kill me. Just kill me metaphorically. Oh my god, please. No. How long have I been streaming this? It feels like an eternity. Well, I mean, an eternity is probably how long Dracula's been alive. <laughs> oh, nice. Nice, I love it. Now I can't do, I can't do it. Now I can't cross that. Nice. I love video games. They are things that you can play. I mean, I'm assuming I can't. Maybe it'll despawn and, and redo everything again. I don't know. God, I wish I could just go to the secret area. Just some secret area where I don't have to do this shit anymore. Whip me, buddy. Okay, cool. I'm there. Oh, yes. Oh, fuck. Oh, my God. Give me chicken, please. Please. I would like some chicken, sir. Okay. Let me focus and then I'll reach at. Because people posted their stories from middle school, and I very much want to read the- No! Not today! No! No! You f- You have been streaming for two hours according to your tweet. Fuck, dude, really? It has not felt like two hours. It's felt like two minutes. Fuck you. Fuck everything that you stand for. Fucking glowy substance. Oh my god. Oh my god! Fucking glowy! Gosh dang! Okay, here we go. Fuck! Both stories are real awkward. Oh god damn it, I gotta read them now. Okay, so this person, Derrico14 said, Actually, that reminds me of one, one day in second grade in my school where they allowed kids to do stuff on the morning show to show off their talent. I decided to sing a song for Big Time Rush. Oh, bad choice. Uh, when I went to do it, there was another kid I didn't know who also wanted to do the same thing, and he brought a CD to lip sync it in front of everyone, and it was extremely awkward that aired in front of the whole school. Wow, that is horrible. Um... One, one time I got a boner in class and I was picking up my backpack to go to my next class and the next uh, people were also blocking my way and one of them was my crush slash good friend. I have to think about what to do so I slid on the table with my best not touching her but oops boner dungeons. <laughs> oh my god. She notices giving me an interesting look and that path ended up being pointless because there was a shorter path next to her. We still talk though. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, dude. That is horrible. Holy shit. Holy shit. I am so sorry. I love awkward school stories. Oh my god. Fuck off, Glowy. This game makes me sad. Like, I'm, I'm kind of depressed. Fuck. 
Fucking bats. I knew it. It was gonna hit me. I knew it. What did I do? I fucking ducked. I ducked like the moron that I am. I should have just used save states. Let let let's be honest here, chat. I should have just used save save states, but no, I wanted to go hardcore. Like the fucking dumbass that I am. And look at where we are now. Dracula's castle. I want to kill myself. I really do. I almost just jumped to my death. This music is grating. It's getting on my nerves with the fucking piano. Okay. I still don't know what the fucking hearts do. Are they literally just like coins? No, no, no. Is that Dracula himself? I don't want to go near it. I, I don't... I don't want to go near it because I feel like something's going to pop out and hit me. And nothing did. Th this game got me fucked good, man. Like, I'm scared of the fucking background elements of the stage. It's like low-key terrifying. Please be the boss, please. Nope, no boss yet. Red Skillerman. Red. Oh, the red Skillermans come back. I don't like that. Oh, the skeletons have their own whips now? This just isn't fair. Please just go up. Yes, okay. Okay. Nope. Not fucking with that. What is this phantom skeleton, man? Oh my god. Are you kidding me? How the fuck? Oh, they're working together. Fuck that. Are you kidding me? Okay, that, that really sucks. Like, what is that bullshit? I mean, at least I can kind of counteract it. Please do not throw bones. Okay, he doesn't throw bones. It's fine. Red Skeleton can can live. You can live now, Skeleton. I do not mind your presence. Oh God damn it! What is this? What the fuck is this? What the fuck? Okay, what are you? It was an evil table. Of course. Why not? Fucking evil table. I'm gonna die. Oh my god. Oh my god. Why? Oh, yes, I'm back to the normal whip. The first time I touched a boob was in ninth grade. I was an idiotic 16 year old and decided, hey, I'm just going to grab my girlfriend's boob on the way to the bus. She didn't like that. I felt like an idiot. 
and we broke up a few weeks later. It was a happy ending though. She understood that I was being an idiot back then and she's currently my best friend. Oh, that's really sweet. Also, yeah, don't just randomly touch a boob. You need consent. Consent is key. Okay, I'm not fucking around anymore. I don't care about your evil tables. No, no. Fuck you. Fuck everything that you stand for. Did the table just despawn? I think the table just straight up despawned. Okay, we're good. We're good. I say that, but I'm about to get fucked. Why is this so goddamn difficult? Where is the end? Seriously, what the fuck? You know, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna... Just gonna real quick... Save that. Just gonna real quick... Oh my god... Jesus, these guys are difficult. Holy shit. No, we're not. I'm sorry. We're 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 just not. We're going to cheat a little bit. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, of course they follow you. Why wouldn't they? I've separated their love fest. Give me that whopper. Oh my dear lord. Like, I'm afraid to stop now because then I'll have to come back to this and I won't be as prepared for bullshit as I am right now. Tried playing the game legit. Didn't work. Is that my fault? Maybe. Okay, we're starting to get enemies that are... That are like copies of the other enemies. How are you playing this? Uh, with a controller. No, no. I see chat saying emulator. No, I'm a... I would never, I would never. Just gonna... Just gonna whip you right quick. Uh, if you could just... Let me whip you. Thank you. Why do some enemies just fucking despawn? These books better not fly out and start attacking me because I can't deal with this right now. I need an, a weapon. There we go. Booyah! Booyakasha. Nope. Aha. Uh -huh. These fuckers are getting harder and harder to kill, I swear to god. There we go. My attention span would not let me play this game for hours without stopping. Well, I have the attention span of a walnut. But when I play games on stream, it, I don't know, it kind of helps me focus. 
It's kind of weird. Like, I can play games on stream that I wouldn't play otherwise. It's like almost a challenge for me. Because I'm also reading chat. So my brain is kind of like, hey, look, chat and video game. Fuck. Like, this isn't the type of game that I normally enjoy. Like, I don't like super hard games. I'm pretty chill with the games that I play. Fuck. Fucking evil books. I hate literature. Salty, have you heard of a show from Brazil in 2008 called Panko TV? It had segments that had Mario, and it was weird. Here's a link. Oh yeah, no, the link, the links get deleted just to prevent spam bots. Uh, you can send it to me on Twitter though. I'd love to check it out. That sounds really weird, and I like weird. Does it have subtitles? I can't speak Spanish that well. I can speak Spanish, just very badly. But yeah, uh, send it to me on Twitter. I'd love to check it out. There is no words. Okay, perfect. Universal. Universally understood because it is no words. Okay. Fuck! Fuck you! Okay, this is super treacherous. And I only have one life. Well, technically two, but... Eh, who's counting? Please. No. No! Literature, save me! Oh, fuck. Literature. 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 Literature, please. Leap of faith. Why is Simon's sprite so big? It's too big, IMO. I mean, that's part of the challenge. Is that Simon is just such a big part of the screen. It's so easy to get hit. I think it's it's definitely a, per, a, a, a personal design choice. What? Not personal. Uh, what What's the word I'm looking for? He did it on purpose. It's a purposeful design choice to make him as big as he is. And you know, it makes sense story-wise too, because he's this big hulking man. Oh, that thing's supposed to make me fucking die. Not today. Oh, you... You fuckers. Everything dies. Thank you. Of course Simon's sprite is big. He's the tallest of the chipmunks. Again, how do I ban people from chat? <laughs> oh, that almost hit me. That would have been very bad. Okay, just walk up the stairs. Mind your own business. You fuck you! Fuck you! There is no way I could have registered that that quickly. You kidding me? That that is bullshit. So Super Castlevania 4 was made in a time where you could still like games would still try to get like cheap deaths on you for like no reason. <gasps> Wall chicken! Like, the SNES was around the time where, like, games were starting to get more skill-based and less just cheap deaths, but every once in a while there is still a dumb cheap death for, like, no reason. Because why not? There always has to be one. I sent you the Brazil Mario videos. Thank you. Fuck you! Fuck you, bats! Fuck everything you stand for. That was... nothing. 
I think I'll only play for a little bit longer. I really would have liked to get to Dracula, but well, we might have to save that for another stream. Fuck you. Fuck everything that you do. Oh no, I just wasted that chicken. God damn it. I don't trust like that. Sorry for posting this again, but do you intend to return to Tomodachi life? Yeah, of course. Like, I, I don't know about when I'm going to do it. I'm just, I'm going to give it a little bit of time just because like, I don't know. I, I've been kind of wanting to play other games and I know that people enjoy Tomodachi life. It's just, you know, like after a certain point, it kind of does get boring for me. And I don't want to have to like fake my reactions, if that makes sense. I don't want to have to be like, whoa, Tomodachi memes, like every time I play it. Because like at a certain point, like I'm no longer surprised and I'd like to be surprised by games that I play. But you know, that that's okay too. Like I I'm going to come back to it. I'm just taking a little break just so that I can kind of gather myself. And at a certain point, if I just kind of like play it just for playing it, then it gets to the point where it's like, like the, the reactions are fake. It's just not entertaining to watch. Oh my God. No. Oh, that fucker. At least I know that if I kneel. Have you ever thought about streaming a Pokemon game? Yeah, I did do a Pokemon Fire Red Nuzlocke once, but I, I'd love to just go back and just play a Pokemon game instead of just doing Nuzlocke because I suck at Nuzlocke's. Seems that I, I suck at a lot of games, huh? That's weird. I don't think I've ever successfully done a Nuzlocke run, which is kind of sad, but they're, they're, it's a hard game mode. I'll play that. Especially randomizer or Nuzlocke, you can just be screwed. I did play uh, the unreleased Pokemon Space World demo, which that's actually up on the archive channel. So if you want to watch that, it is up right the fuck now. What is going on? Oh, it's the night, isn't it? Oh, no. No, oh, that's a big boy. I don't like this. Oh my god. S stop. Stop. Please. Oh. God. Oh, please. Please keep throwing it. Shit. Shit. Oh my god. He's got a sword. Oh my god. He's got a sword. Oh my god. <laughs> Last life, and I beat that boss on one HP. Holy fucking shit! Wait, what's happening now? Wait, what's happening now? What? What the? What the fuck is happening? I I legit thought that that was just a fucking trap to just kill me. I was really scared for a second there. Oh my god! Oh my god! It's so weird how games can instill like raw fear into you, not with jump scares, but just with consequences of just having to play the game over and over and over again. I'm going to just uh, save the game up real quick. And just die really quick. Let's let's get that password. And uh, yeah, that's gonna that's gonna be it, I think, for the stream tonight. Thank you so much for joining me, guys. I really do appreciate it, and I hope that you guys all have a good one. Uh, see ya.